Buckle up, folks, because the Tiana Taylor and Iman Shumpert divorce saga has reached its dramatic conclusion, and it's a financial roller coaster you won't want to miss. Tiana's walking away with a cool multi-million dollar package, but is Iman nursing a bruised ego along with his emptier wallet? This split has been nothing short of a spectacle, with both sides trading increasingly outrageous demands as the proceedings wore on. Iman, in a move that raised eyebrows across the courtroom, actually tried to reclaim gifts he'd given Tiana during their marriage. We're talking jewelry and even a whole condo, folks. But wait, it gets wilder. He had the audacity to reach for a slice of Tiana's pre-marital music royalties and plead for lower child support payments, citing the income gap between them. Now here's where it gets juicy. Iman's finances came under the microscope, and honey, the numbers are eye-popping. This man's burning through cash faster than a shopaholic with a stolen credit card. We're talking six-figure monthly splurges on dining out, his podcast, and music video production. And get this. He claims to spend over 100k a month just commuting between South Atlanta and Alpharetta. With expenses like these, his bid for reduced child support was about as likely to succeed as a snowball's chance in Atlanta summer. When the gavel finally fell, Tiana emerged victorious on multiple fronts. She's keeping four prime properties worth a cool $10 million, plus a fleet of vehicles that would make a car dealership jealous, including a Maybach and her beloved Bronco. All her bling stays put, and she's holding on to 100% ownership of her business ventures. Iman didn't walk away empty-handed, though. He's keeping his Miami bachelor pad, some compounds in Georgia, and his mysteriously named Chumper Chump investments. Iman's not only losing assets, he's also opening up his wallet in a big way. The courts ordered him to fork over a jaw-dropping seven-figure lump sum to Tiana, plus a monthly child support check that could buy a luxury car. We're talking $88,000, folks. And let's not forget, he's on the hook for 100% of those pricey private school fees for both daughters. Talk about a financial slam dunk for Tiana. But let's rewind, because the drama leading up to this settlement is juicier than a Georgia peach. Tiana's been painting a picture of Iman that's far from flattering. She claims he was green with envy over her rising star, despite the fact that his NBA paycheck could have bought her entire music catalog several times over. Can you imagine being asked to step out of your wife's paparazzi shots? That's apparently what Iman was dealing with, and it didn't sit well with him at all. The plot thickens with allegations of Iman's mood swings that would put a roller coaster to shame. One minute he's picking fights on Tiana's birthday, the next he's all apologies. Tiana says she started dimming her own spotlight just to keep the peace at home. It's like watching a star trying to hide behind a cloud. It just doesn't work. Here's where it gets really twisted. Tiana claims Iman didn't want her working, but then complained when she wasn't bringing home the bacon after having their child. Talk about a catch-22. No wonder she finally called it quits, accusing Iman of cruelty and narcissism that would make even Hollywood's biggest divas blush. Picture this. Tiana claims Iman was playing the field before they even said I do during her pregnancy, talk about bad timing, and even after they tied the knot. Allegedly, Iman was sending snaps of himself and their two-month-old bundle of joy to a woman Tiana suspected was more than just a friend. That's right, using their newborn as a prop in his flirtation game. Now that's a new low. But wait, there's more. Tiana's painting a picture of Iman as a father that's less than flattering. We're talking allegations of him failing to feed the kids while they were in his care. And get this, supposedly puffing away and being under the influence while looking after their little ones. Junie and Rue Rose, at just seven and three years old, deserve better than that, don't you think? And if that wasn't enough to make your jaw drop, here's the cherry on top. Tiana claims Iman pulled a stunt that would make any parent's heart stop. Allegedly, he put the girls in a rideshare in Chicago, sending them off to the bustling United Center while he cruised there in style with a private driver. Talk about misplaced priorities. It's clear Tiana's fed up with what she calls Iman's clear disregard for their children's safety. She's painting a picture of a man who's more interested in his own pleasures than in being a responsible father. Let's talk money, shall we? Apparently, Iman was playing fast and loose with their finances, allegedly taking out loans to the tune of $3.7 million behind Tiana's back. That's not just pocket change, folks. That's buy yourself a small island kind of money. And as if that wasn't enough to make an accountant faint, he supposedly stopped paying taxes on their Miami love nest. Talk about living dangerously. Now, Rewind to April 2023, when the rumor mill was working overtime. 
Turns out those whispers about Iman and Tiana living separate lives weren't just gossip, they were the real deal. Tiana's mama had stepped up to the plate, helping her daughter navigate the choppy waters of single motherhood. But here's where it gets interesting, dear listeners. Tiana, bless her heart, took to Instagram to set the record straight. She confirmed the split, but was quick to defend Iman's honor, insisting that cheating wasn't what drove them apart. She painted a picture of two people who, despite their romantic flame fizzling out, were still thick as thieves in business and co-parenting. We're still the best of friends, she claimed, weaving a tale of a united front that would make even the most skeptical believe in amicable divorces. She spoke of their decade-long journey, seven years as husband and wife, emphasizing their commitment to family above all else. But oh, how the tables have turned, from we ain't ever played with or about that to airing all their dirty laundry in court. It's a plot twist worthy of a blockbuster movie. Let's rewind to 2016, shall we? While Tiana was busy playing the role of devoted partner, it seems Iman might have been auditioning for a part in a whole different production. A mystery woman claimed she'd been Iman's secret co-star for two years. Coincidentally, the same timeline as his relationship with Tiana. Talk about a plot twist. But hold on to your hats, because it gets juicier. This woman alleges that Iman, with an assist from his teammate Kyrie Irving, tried to turn their hotel rendezvous into a steamy threesome scene. Spoiler alert, she wasn't interested in that particular script revision. Now, let's fast forward to 2018. Tiana drops her track three-way, and suddenly everyone's wondering if art is imitating life. With lyrics spicier than a ghost pepper, she's practically giving us a play-by-play -play of their bedroom antics. Two heads are better than one, she croons, leaving us all raising our eyebrows and reaching for our smelling salts. But wait, there's more. When a fan accused Tiana of lacking self-respect, our girl clapped back harder than a thunderstorm. She confirmed that yes, she and Iman did enjoy the occasional menage a trois, thank you very much, and no, it didn't mean she didn't respect herself. Even just when everybody heard that like me and my husband had threesomes before. It was yeah. like, oh, she's willing to do that to keep a man. I'm like, nah. that, was, that was all me. Let's jet back to January 2019, when the rumor mill was churning out some spicy gossip. Word on the street was that Alby Rides wasn't just a third wheel in Tiana and Iman's adventures. Apparently, she hit the jackpot and ended up with a bun in the oven. Talk about complicated, right? But hold on to your hats, because February 2022 brought us another episode of As the Shumpert Turns. Some sneaky tipster dropped a blind item about a certain singer with two kiddos whose hubby was shaking his tail feather on Dancing with the Stars. Gee, I wonder who that could be. And just when you thought the drama meter couldn't go any higher, BAM! Another woman enters stage left, flaunting what looked suspiciously like Iman's chain. But wait, there's more. She followed up with a photo that was cozier than a bear hug in winter, showing her draped over Iman like a human blanket. Subtle. Not exactly. After years of playing defense for Team Iman, it seems Tiana finally threw in the towel. She realized that this merry-go-round of drama wasn't slowing down anytime soon. So, what's a girl to do? Dump that drama and chase that piece, honey. Tiana decided it was high time to write her own happily ever after. One that didn't include Iman's alleged extracurricular activities. She traded in the constant stress for a shot at serenity, proving that sometimes the strongest move is knowing when to walk away. This would be like my healing chapter. Um, a lot of wounds are being closed and, and, and aided at the point um, at this point, and um, they are being the wounds are being nurtured as well and, and, and closed up for good, you know. So I think for me. Um, this is my chapter of, of healing and... Folks out there are saying Iman deserves to be left with empty pockets after all this drama. But is that justice or just plain vindictive? It's a tricky tightrope to walk, isn't it? On one hand, we've got the tale of alleged infidelities, questionable parenting choices, and financial shenanigans that would make an accountant's head spin. If even half of what Tiana's claimed is true, Iman certainly racked up some bad karma points. But on the flip side, should a person's entire financial future be decimated because of a messy divorce? That's a hefty price to pay, no matter how you slice it. The ruling we've heard about seems to have Tiana coming out on top, with properties, vehicles, and a sizable monthly child support check. Iman's not exactly being tossed out on the street, but he's definitely feeling the pinch. So, dear listeners, what's your take? 
Is this ruling a case of just desserts, or has the pendulum swung too far? Should Iman be left to rebuild from scratch, or does everyone deserve a financial cushion, even after a divorce this messy?